Hi, welcome to this installation video. It's about Arch Linux B, i3. I've chosen to go for a UFI in VirtualBox, so you have this kind of thing. We don't have the logo. Logo is by setting. This is UFI for the newer hardware. And we need to go all the way up. We need to go to this line that says Arch Linux. We boot up in April 2020 into a version from the desktop. So rather than using XFC as a pass-through mechanism, we are booting into awesome BSVWM head of Sluft and i3. So it immediately requires some um, tiling window manager knowledge. Now we are here to help. I think that's clear if you see the purpose of Arclix and all the tutorials we'll make. We are here to learn. You see here already something that's going to help. Um, you can quit things with super X is going to exit immediately from i3, but super shift Q is going to stop an application and super Q is there as well. But we have Azerty, we have QWERTY, so it might be that it's super A rather than super Q on your keyboard. But you need to be able to navigate a little bit around. Another thing to mention about i3 is that the fact that on the live USB you'll see this error, but later on i3 status will just do its thing. The status command will just work fine afterwards on the real thing. Install installing is always the same. We advise to go for a run gparted and have a look. Do we have lots of things, partitions in there that you say, I'm going to get rid of those and those and those. Click on them, select them and delete them, right? Then, okay, we're going to quit gparted and then we're going to run Calamars. That would be my approach. Now this thing is behind it, so it is floating when this needs to go. We can move this thing around with pressing super, so I keep pressing super in and then a right, uh, sorry, a left mouse click and then we can move this around, but we need to stop it. Okay, super A or super Q, depending on the keyboard, is going to remove that thing so we can actually look at it. This is our version and the version has a particular thing and that is that sometimes it ends up in a boost Python error thing unmount, which actually means reboot you have an installed system. So that's good to know. We go for next Linux kernel LTS harden send choose. I advise you to watch the videos of Linux, uh, sorry of <laughs> Arch Linux or Arch Linux D. I go there in much more detail about all these options, right? Otherwise, all the videos would be super, super long. But let's just show them. Um, you have lots of possibilities here to choose. And I know people these days are working at home. So uh, there's a team viewer, there is Skype here, there's Teams here, there is Zoom here. Lots of possibility to keep in touch with people. Developing, go ahead and develop, my friends. No problem. Enough software available. You want to have an office um, suite, a tool, choose. Now anything will be installed, anything you select will be installed only, obviously, if you got an internet connection, if that's working. So that's the first thing you need to figure out. Do I have an internet connection, right? Um, then multimedia stuff, anything you like, just click it and it's installed. Internet software. Locale means if you have it set into Portuguese, then Firefox will be in Portuguese. LibreOffice will be in Portuguese. The locale is coming from here. The application itself. Theming. Choose other themes. Mind you, some of them collide. These guys, these two guys collide with each other. Doesn't matter. You can select both, but only one of them will be installed. Calamaris will just skip them. Game all you want. Lots of fun stuff here. Take care with the gigabytes here. Some of them are big. So if that's an issue for you, first check, then download. Utility software, lots of stuff. That's interesting, that's nice. Also another installer. So we have PAMEC AUR to have our graphical user interface to update. There is also Octopi, you can choose that one as well. Accessories, I'm not gonna open everything, but um, there are more things in here. So check it out, the things you like, and select them. And this is for us. 
we install our risers on a monthly basis maybe 200 times so if you want to have the things we need we just click here and it's installed right that's as simple as that but you don't need to select anything you just can go ahead and skip everything here in Arconix B in Arconix D there you need to select something right otherwise you don't have a desktop which is also okay because with scripts you can do anything then we're in the phase where you choose whether you want to have partitions right parts for hibernation for real hibernation with a small swap and so on we have an EF EFI system well, or a UEFI system in VirtualBox but you can also do manual partitioning and don't forget you can also encrypt so out of the box automatically three choices times two encrypt or not and then you have six uh, choices with the manual partition makes seven and you choose what you like choose a name choose the name of the computer password login automatically yes no use the same password yes no up to you to the site and then we're off installing our system it says what it's going to do a little bit here and then the longest part is this part filling up file systems so now it's going to unsquash a, a rather big zip file call it like that and we'll wait for that all right we have an example where the installation has failed but it's the u-mount so it's no problem everything is going to work how do we exit this i3 thing super x and then we have the K for lock, logout, suspend, U, hibernate, R, reboot, shutdown. Right, so in my case, I would like to R, reboot. And then we go straight to the grub. That's cool. The ISO is out. And we are booting into i3 immediately. And then it's of course up to you um, how to figure out how to use this i3 thing. It's a tiny window manager, it was too late there. I don't want to see the, this image of this, this application again. So the Arconix welcome app. So how to start is gone. Killing it is super A or Q, depending on your uh, system. Super C is gonna kill this guy because the tiling window manager actually does not require any conky at all. But okay, you can choose whatever you want. It's freedom. Um, you'll see that it's not gonna look that nice, some of them on a tiling window manager. Uh, we have 48 available updates, so that's the first thing probably you'll do. Do an update and an uphold and a scale and stuff like that. But you need to work as well. Learn to work with i3. Control alt f is the one I would start with. And go for arcanlinuxd.com. Go to phase 3. Check it out. i3. Nowhere to be seen. Why? It's in phase 2 right i3 installation i3 articles not only here because the xfc open box i3 is part of our flagship you'll find also articles on arcolinux.com this is arcolinuxd.com right so lots and lots and lots of articles of uh, i3 have been written and um, you check it out and learn how to work with your i3 tiling window manager i'm sure you'll love it have fun